Hello. I would like for you to imagine something for me. You're getting a call right now from someone you love. They tell you they're trapped. They're hundreds of miles away. They have a few seconds left to live. They're calling to tell you that they love you and goodbye. What would you do? Well, this happened to me. I was trapped under seven stories of rubble and debris with my children. I had a few seconds to live. My phone had a brief moment of reception. I called my mother to tell her goodbye. What would you do? Well, I'm going to tell you my story this afternoon of what changed my life. It was a bright sunny day, early crisp one morning. I was getting my three-year-old ready for preschool. It was his first day. We were in my apartment on the 12th floor. I heard a large explosion. It sounded like a bomb was going off. It shook our building so far. I really thought we were the next ones to be bombed. I took the elevator downstairs and grabbed my oldest son out of school behind us. I ran across from the World Trade Center into the parking garage to go get my car. We ran against the tide of people. By the time we got to our garage, it had been roped off and the police were there telling us a second plane was coming and that all we needed to do was run towards the water. My apartment was right across the street. I wanted to go to my apartment and just grab a few things before fleeing New York. As we were running back towards the apartment, a second plane came over our head and we watched it implode into the World Trade Center. We froze. We were surrounded by thousands of people. Everyone stopped dead in their tracks. We unfortunately had to witness multiple people falling to their death, seeing it, hearing it, smelling it. It was a horrific situation. I told the group I was with around me that I felt the buildings were about to fall. They did not believe me. I left and I went back to my apartment building, took the elevator to the 12th floor. I grabbed just two pictures out of a frame before the fireman broke our door down. He told us the elevators had stopped. We needed to now run down 12 flights of floors and walk to the water, run. By the time we hit the first floor, the buildings were imploding and it went from a sunny day to a very black day. The soot and debris were coming into our building. We found ourselves trapped in the basement of my apartment building. We were with 12 strangers. It was utter chaos. We knew we were going to die. As the buildings were imploding, more feet of rubble and debris were piling on us. So for, I managed to get the adults in a circle and then the six children into a circle. I knew I was going to die with my children, so I just needed to manage the best way I could in the death that we were about to approach. So for a brief moment, my cell phone had service. It was a miracle. I shared with the group that I would make the first call for two minutes. I would pass the phone to my right in the circle. I called my mom to say goodbye. The gentleman to my right made a phone call and it made it full circle. Everyone actually made a call to their loved one. They all said goodbye. Not one of us called for help because we knew we were going to die. This went on for two hours. We just kept hearing these loud explosions. Two hours, New York City firemen dig a hole. They find us. They put gas masks on us. We escaped, we lost everything. We lived in three hotels for a year. I finally found an apartment and rebuilt my life. I am now changed forever and I have realized that under a crisis situation, your true potential does come out. Don't wait for a crisis situation. Follow your dream now, do it now. Sometimes we don't realize our full potential until a crisis situation happens. I've heard many stories here today about that. Just follow your dream, do it now. So I have been inspired to finish school. I'm the first one in my family to graduate college in four weeks. Um, going to grad school uh, to get into organized psychology in crisis situations. 
And I just leave you with this tonight. Make a phone call to someone you love to say hello, not goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.